Plus, it's life on my end. <laughs> Wait. I've got something spinny live. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we are actually starting on time, which is awesome tonight. Uh, I apologize in advance. Occasionally, you'll probably hear this clappy clack clack. Um, I... And it won't be me this time. Well, it <laughs> might be me too, but the louder version. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got a new keyboard, and it's very touchy. It's very good, but it is also very loud. <laughs> oh, come on. Go ahead. Don't tease it. Type something for the audience. Nah. <laughs> They'll know it when they hear it. <laughs> well, we're just finishing up dinner here, so... Shall we be off? Yep, I think we are off to Red Rooster's Steam tonight. Well, we'd started there to get some opens up. And now we need to do a little more because uh, we need to get a few levels before we can take our next uh, class class. Okay? Mm hmm. I hope you guys have all had a great week out there. And now we do the online jogging simulation. Oh, by the way, uh, so you know, Ladonia, I went ahead and on Faithe created a fellowship so that Seawis has a chance of contacting us when we're offline. I don't know what a fellowship is. Uh, a fellowship in game, it's something they actually recently added, is effectively an in-game message board that is not real-time chat. Hmm. Okay. It, you can't really do much with it. It's kind of kind of half-assed, frankly. <laughs> but it exists, it's there. Okay, and if he's kind of asking how our week was, we want to tell him. Uh, which one? <laughs> well, first of all, for how my week was, good, except for Tuesday, where my life got turned upside down and shaken rip. Oh, yeah. Um, Two my... of the three outlets in my room went out. As in burnt out. As in wiring Literally. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> As in, you know, no switch, uh, the networking kind, no NAS, no computer, no alarm clock. Actually, that's not quite correct. The power went out, so the display went out. But of course, it has the 9 volt battery that keeps it running. So while we're in the middle of vacuuming in the morning, while we're cleaning up the room for the electrician to be able to get in, the alarm goes off. Because that still works with the 9 volt. I hadn't heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> Took us a while to hear it too over the vacuum. Yeah. It was entertaining. Beetlejuice! Ew. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Orin Luna is in a bit of a tight spot. Care to partake of some inexhaustible march of science? The concoction I'm currently formulating could change the horticulture as we know it. Imagine a fluid once... Once... Ah. Imagine a fluid could stew over crops to ward off pests. All I need are some ladybugs and someone to squash them. Ladybugs simply cannot resist aphids. Find some alfac lavender, dab it with a bit of amphid nectar, and they'll come swarming to the slaughter. Ew! Between the aphids and the ladybugs, I'd rather have the ladybugs. Yeah, <sighs> but that was my entertaining part of the week. Then there is your entertaining part of the week. Yeah. Good and bad. That was bad. Um, I'm sitting here on my main in the middle of 
of the raid on Doman Castle. At the second uh, robot scorpion boss, who throws like huge circles of doom everywhere. And the joystick. Don't they all? <laughs> yeah. My thumb joystick on my gaming pad goes out. Badly. You turn it one way, and it just won't ha move. You turn it the other, and you'll be constantly running in that direction forever. <laughs> uh, if it let nectar, ladybugs are known to feed on this sweet, uh, sweet secretion. Thank you. <sighs> so after doing Sometimes some research, they have entertaining ones. Yeah. So after that doing not some one research, we discovered that this is a general problem with my model of gaming pad. And after some contemplation, we decided the best thing I could do was buy an upgrade. And while we were at it, I bought an upgrade to my keyboard too. Which my is why it now, uh, why it is now louder than mine. Yes, and my wallet hates me greatly. <laughs> and don't forget, what else happened that day? Oh yeah, it was my birthday. Big whoop. Well, that too, but the consequence of your birthday. Oh, yummy dinner. Yeah, we went to yummy dinner. Yummy dinner is always appreciated on birthdays. <laughs> but I was like, I wake up in the morning, I get all these messages in my Facebook inbox of happy birthday. I'm like, it's my birthday? Can I go back to sleep now? <laughs> <sighs> Hello, Minnow. Welcome, welcome. Yes. Hi, uh, hey there, Aramayo. Oh. Uh... But it was a good dinner. We and turned... next Friday you get your actual birthday present. Yes, I'm really looking forward to that one. Return to me and once you've collected you three it. files of Ladybug's Viscera. Ah, Ladybug Viscera. The moss green ooze which seeps out from the cracked shell after crutching an innocent defenseless Ladybug. Yeah, defenseless? they're not innocent and defenseless when there is... Uh, when they could come up to your kneecaps. <laughs> it's elementary, really. Aphids live in fear of ladybugs, and so applying the scent of the ladybug blood to our crops is certain to ward off the parasites. We're manipulating the laws of nature. Of you course, could just let the ladybugs have the run of the place. Yeah, I know. That, that's and again, they are kind of big. <laughs> No, 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 so maybe no, no. not. Well, of course, we could just let the have the ladybugs go on defending the crops as always, and not squish them for their viscera. But I can hardly see the science in that. Right, right. Well, at least we've admitted to this. We must science this at once. Yes. <sighs> We're having a pretty decent uh, evening. Uh, earlier today, yes. um, Lodonia and I on our mains went and helped the uh, fellow uh, guildmate get through Binding Coil of Bahamut. Which, which, I don't know what we're going to do to show that off to people because it needs showing off, but damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Binding Coil of Bahamut was one of the first actual raids in this game. Mm -hmm. The problem with it is, is it was the first raid in the game, and they were still trying to figure out what raiding was. As a result, no one runs it anymore except for Unsynced, and it's not part of any of the ru roulettes, so everyone just skips over it, even though it's a huge, important chunk of story. Yeah. And it took us until basically all... You know, both of us being level 80 to be able to two-man it. Yeah, yeah, because of some of the mechanics are just nasty on a stick. We had the DPS, but they, there was a couple... We did not have the survivability. Not when you have to deal with insta-kill mechanics. What goes around? Lutra Swiss or something. Wow. Wishes to check for any trouble that might be milling about the Grey Fleet. 
Yeah, okay, names are just alphabet soup tongue twisters. <laughs> they related to the Welsh. Breathtaking, is it not? Proud sails turning, rugged gears churning. The mill never stops, and neither can some of the millers assigned to keep it up. Vigilance is the key. By addressing tomorrow's issues today, we assure that the wheels of prosperity continue the, to grind. Unfortunately, my hands are full with the work of the day, and I cannot leave my station to tend to the inspection. Would I would trust entrust this duty to you. Blech, sorry about that. Seek out the other three millers, heed their concerns, and appraise with strength of your findings. Wait, Zoran is right here. You have anything to say for yourself before we get going? <sighs> Not so much. Hey, Orzia spans far and wide, but nowhere will you find so many windmills here. Harnessing the winds that blow in from the sea to grind grain and fleece, is it no less than sorcery? He might have a small point there. Checking uh, Lustrance again. Mm. While the mills turn in perpetuity, oh. our toils are tied to the ebb and flow of the skid. During the harvests and shearing seasons, we rarely catch a wink. Yeah, I'm glad they add Vera. I am really kind of... I'm actually glad they added the Hrothgar. I am mm -hmm. really rather grumpy that they have gender-locked both. Yeah... Might have been nice if... Uh, I think it would have been better if they just added one with both genders. But, yeah. The Mujin. Well, Merge money. you see the mill spinning, don't you? What more do you need to know? Our only problem I have is you meddling in my chores. Away with you, then. Gee, train man. Right, Yes. As for playing for story, I'll be honest. Sometimes I feel like I am the odd... Me and Rylea are the odd people out for playing for story. Um, everyone you else and who? is just like, skip the cutscenes, let's go fight! No, you and who again? Yeah, you. Whatever. Uh... <laughs> Rylea is my main. Yeah, I know. Well, they don't. Ah, uh, the mill is fine. You'd be, uh, we'd be wiser to concern ourselves with the grubby scavengers that rob us of our yield. That's fair enough. Uh, the Ronso are in the game now. Uh, they're actually that's the Hrothgar. The, that's the Hrothgar. Uh, Ronso is another name for them on the first. Uh, what really kind of irks me about the uh, Hrothgar Ronso is everyone's like, oh, there are no female Hrothgar Ronso that you ever see. And I'm like, I'm playing through FF10 at the moment, and there are two female Hroth or, uh, Ronso Blitzball players. I'm staring at them. Why are you saying there are no female models? <laughs> oh, actually, uh, Mushira talking about the uh, male Vera. I did like Rena's thought on what should be done with them. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, we have the Aura, who have the big, tall males and the little itty bitty females. And of course, now we have big, tall, curvy Vera. And Rena's idea was that they should have really little tiny males. Yes, <laughs> little tiny stocky males. <laughs> and that would have been great but oh well missed opportunities Ishu -shu. I haven't noticed anything off myself but let's have a look now shall we hmm look there the sail's been nicked a bit nothing urgent mind you the cloth we use is the same they use for sails set for sails out on the sea Made to stand up to the blustering wind. Still, with the kind of pressure that's on, once the hemming has been nicked, it's probably going to start tearing. Yeah, but if you get on it fast enough. 
Yeah. Stitch in time saves nine. Mm-hmm. Who's Zarin? Or what's Zarin? Something like that. Wait, Zarin. <laughs> Wait for your Zarin. <laughs> I trust you enjoyed your tour of the mill. You were impressed, yes? Matter of Ishushu's sale is most re The matter shall be remedied at once. To delay acting until trouble occurs is to ask for trouble. Gray Fleet stops for nothing. Full sail ahead! Keep it. And some mutton stew. Good for gathering. Uh, As if we gather? We're going to... Apparently, we have the food for it. Now it's up to the blind fire mine. Or something like that. Yeah, blind iron mines. Haha. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm I'm waiting to see more of a FF ten world show up at one of these points. It's technically possible with how the universe Oh they borrow from out. everything else. <laughs> But yeah, yeah I mean... right now we're getting a bunch of um, FF8 bosses, which is kind of scary at the high end. Yeah, yeah. Biker Titan is not to be mocked. <laughs> no. Targets. Well, for one of us. Bone Run? Fire and Brimstone. Brimstone has knocked Brunrut out of blind iron mines. Now, well, this time we've dug ourselves into a hole well and has struck Brimstone while shoveling through the mines, and now the rife with gas grew too much to bear. You'll need the uh, clear earth crystal if you're to restore the earth and plug the leak properly. And you can't do this yourself because? Because Just helpless mind... NPC syndrome, that's how come. <laughs> well. Just mind the surfed clouds brought on by the brimstone. Uh, they're legitimate raid boss monsters. Uh, you do not take them uh, lightly. They will pick you up and chew you out. Yeah, they're based off of some of the summons and such in these, but they are legitimate, way too legitimate, great bosses. It, it, especially with the new ones coming in with on, in February. <laughs> um, back here. Oh, no. right, in the winter months. Sorry, I forgot. Clear Earth Crystal. The ethereal balance of this crystal is tipped completely to the element of Earth. Not a single trace of any other of the five elements can be detected. Uh, one thing that kind of confused me for a little bit when I started playing uh, this game is they talk about Eorzea. They're mm. not talking about a planet name. They're effectively talking about a land region. It's like saying Europe. Yeah. Uh, Eorzea is one of the three or great the Near continents. East. <laughs> and the actual countries are effectively states. Yeah. Wondering where you're headed. Now, 
Now that's a breath of fresh air. For many of the miners, a bit of brimstone is nothing to write home about. But I'm the one who has to write the letters when the gluttons choke to death down there. Price's Metals Command in the wake of the Calamity will make us either rich or dead. Maybe both? Woohoo! Level 9! One second. Yeah! Go for that. Fall Club. Okay, I think we head to Summerford now. Okay, hold on a moment. <laughs> I think the fog rolled in. Yes, it did. Okay, and while you lead us there... I'll be right back. Wow. <laughs> Dinner hit bottom? <laughs> She's not going to answer me. She... <laughs> Farming. Uh, someone's working that fate up there. Like we've got a warrior working that fate. Good luck, warrior! You're gonna need it! Those moles are dangerous! I love the visuals of this game. But sometimes it is like fighting in the middle of a fireworks explosion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, admittedly, that was one of the nice with um, Star Wars The Old Republic is watching a fight somebody else was having from a distance was actually kind of uh, kind of neat. Yeah. Rocks in a hard place. Grinwida seeks courageous pioneers who can tame the wilderness from, for Summerford, uh, Summerford Farms. Yeah, you can say that five times fast. <laughs> Summerford Farms bears the chain. Ah. Summerford Farms bears the change of the Emerald Settlement in Initiative. We're rewarded handsomely to brave the new frontiers. Yet, if we fail to fulfill our part of the bargain, our, the grant will be withdrawn. In spite of this, the washed-up pirates elect to who lays about their days. There is still time. We need only to clear away the rock and debris from the area to be deemed settled. If you're willing to help, you'll find a shovel outside the hut on the hillside. There is very little lazier than a retired pirate. This is very true. Uh, yes, it does get overwhelming, especially when you start dealing with alliance raids, because you've got three parties of eight. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting. Uh, you know, for the main part, their partying here is smaller than in other similar MMOs, which usually like a 
five-person party. This has four-person parties. And then you have the raids, which are double-sized parties. Eight. But then you have the alliance raid, which is three of the parties, so you go to 24 all of a sudden. Yeah, because originally it was um, three parties from three different servers. Mm. Now all the servers are consolidated into a data center and everyone can flow back and forth, and it actually helps out a lot. And I have to admit, the Alliance Raids are some of the most fun I have in this game. I know you think otherwise, Ladonia, but... Yeah, well... <laughs> some of them can be, but... <sighs> Not feeling the bullet love hell of uh, Copy Factory? <laughs> no! <laughs> anyway, Tiller's Shovel. Used by the Tillers of Summerford to clear the land of rocks. Ah, yes, rock farm. Every year you get a new crop. And the fact that they actually used the idea of a rock farm on um, Friendship is Magic was just hilarious. <laughs> yeah. There are a few places where sometimes you feel like that's what you're doing with the land. Um, oh, New England. Of all of New England looks like that. Out by my folks, it's like that, too. There's a reason why they refer to that as Tuolumne Gumbo. <laughs> well, pretty much anywhere um, in New England especially was good for it, where a lot of the landscape was curved by, like, glaciers. There's just lots of rocks littering, you know, the first several feet of topsoil. And they slowly come up. Grinda? Mm -hmm. You've certainly proven you are not... Nah. You've certainly proven you are not one to let obstacles stand in your path. If only these supposed pioneering pirates were half as industrious as you. Expanding the borders is all well and good, but the Admiral ought to know that rugged frontiers can't be settled by layabouts. And here we are doing their job for them so the layabouts can go settle the place. She needed a pat. <laughs> <laughs> We might have to fate farm. Who knows? The next quest I see on the map is 10. Uh, let's see here. Well, actually... Um... Double check your hunt log. Lower this is what, Sados. central? Yeah, this is central. I have one in middle, Lower Lanosea. Middle. I do middle, have two here. Middle. Three here. Everything I've got is middle. Well, um, this is middle. Oh, I thought you're. Okay. <laughs> um, Summerford, bogies. Okay, bogies are this one. Wounded Aurox. Wounded Aurox. Okay, then. And some are for grounded raiders. I know where they are. And over to Three Mom Bend. So yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff right here. So I can level or get close to it pretty easily. Yeah, I have one left in lower mm. that we kind of skipped around. Yeah. yeah. What's my last one? Oh, that's also middle. It's just over in three mall. Bogies are down in here. Right. Of course. Yep, and there is a symbol. We're not used to being melee! <laughs> I look at him, I select him, I'm going, why can't I hit spot and uh, hit him? What's wrong with me? Oh, you're 
Entrance oh, oven. Entrance oven, that is. I never noticed the, uh... The dodo carving on the, uh... Altar there. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, uh, it... You have to swing up to get it. Huh. See, this is why you replay the game, is to see things like that. Hold on a moment. I am... I don't know their font well enough. Yeah, their I am Born of the Sea. That's the second... And... Something Shall I Die. And I can't make out what the middle is. First one is I am something, something, something. I am something else, something, something. Yeah, their alphabet is basically English with a letter replacement, but their letter replacement is really kind of hard to decipher. Yeah, it's close enough that you can sometimes make it out. They did a good job on that, and they have a completely new replacement alphabet for the first and the latest expansion, and it also works the same way of the uh, forms are enough that if you can figure it out, you can figure out some of the words. So they're being very inventive. Yeah, but I don't yeah. want to waste brain cells on it. <laughs> uh, I've got few enough brain cells as it is. But, 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 text! Must read text! Oh, someone has their chocobo! No fair! I want a chocobo! Do you want to try for this fate? So sure. I think someone's going for it and they're going about it all wrong. Must be because it's progress zero. Menus at work. The once gentle Aurochs living in Cookpot have grown bold since the arrival of a bull known as Menus. Okay, Slay the beast and show the other creatures who it is they should truly fear. I want you to tank him right about in here after we kill these things. Yeah. Well, this guy is a hunt target of mine, the Wounded Aura. Do you want me to pull him or show you? Uh, I'll pull him. Pull him and then run on out. That was... Do you have your tank stance yet? I'm trying to remember. No! Right in there. Maybe back up a little bit. Yeah, you are okay. Okay, right there. Run away! I can't even throw a shield at him. Wait, I don't have a shield. Uh, you'll, you'll actually get Tomahawk. Which is effectively chucking your ass. Don't want to see for that one. Sorry, yeah, he's going down nicely. Yeah, if you try to take him to the center of that entire group, No, no, it does not work. I remember that. Don't ask me how I remember that. It's a painful memory. Okay. I want to finish. Ooh, that's locked up. Uh oh. Forget. I'm. Ah, there we go. I was locked up there. That was, Here. That was very bad. Oh. Bad, 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 bad. That was two of three. Buddy. 
bury my heart at Wounded Arcs. Shall we go play with the pirates? Um. Oh, right, yes. Probably won't level off the next hunt, but I will be very close. You, I imagine, will have a little bit further to go since you haven't been, been getting hunt targets. By the way, these two are hunt targets for me. Oh, okay. They are for both of us. They're very nice. Well, some of them are. Don't die on me! unlocked and Two. overpower and defiance and an axe to grind I have two more targets to go one is unfortunately back in lower eh fine enough uh, do I want to go back there and take care of that yeah okay got a bit of a jog ahead of us Whee. I'm going to find out how this class works so, uh, while you uh, lead us there because I just got overpower. Okay, oh. that is a cone-based AoE. And defiance... Is your tank stance. Okay, that is a stance. Yep, that is a stance. Yep, indeed. The little gauge that I now have just went red. And they're giving me the thing for beast gauge unlocked. So, beast gauge... Symbol indicates the defensive stance defiance is in effect, which increases enmity. And that's it. Yep. Oh, I know it will not stay that symbol. They never stay that symbol. Uh, actually, the stances do stay that symbol. I mean the gauge. Oh, no, the gauge will not stay that symbol. I will say that uh, overpower is one of the main things you can do here. Yeah. And it versus the Kali um, aggro, which at the time we were initially playing, was Flash. Right. Yeah, there, there's a reason why I much preferred... Warrior? Warrior over Paladin. <laughs> it, 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 Warrior could instantly grab aggro and keep it. Oh, Paladin was like, yeah, I'm going to flash you. Uh, that isn't enough, is it? Nope, nope, it's never enough. <laughs> Come on, though, with Pally you can shout. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all his foes must yield. Yeah, warrior. It's um, ranged is called tomahawk, and you've you know the animation. You have seen Fei Fei pop it off constantly. Oh no, it's raining, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll manage. Yeah, you. You don't wilt like that poor, soggy kitten known as Rylia. <laughs> <laughs> Who every time it starts raining, she starts meowing. Can we get out of the rain? I'm cold. I'm wet. I'm wet. And 
these guys are my target. The Lagoon? Okay. Yep. Oh, of course you need three. Of course I need three. I need three. Except for when it isn't. And when you need three, that means... <laughs> <coughs> that means you sneeze. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, ow. <laughs> totally, excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, do we want to head back into the city to pick up our level 10 quests? Um, I'd actually like to finish off my hunt log. Oh, okay. Um, hold on a second. All the way through 10? Uh, yeah. Let me check to see what my 10th is. Oh, right, it was back in middle. It was just in a different part of middle. I thought you, uh... Nope, that got me up through nine. Oh, okay. What, what's your last one? Let me guess. Megalo crabs? Yeah. Yeah. So is yours? Yeah. <laughs> Megalo crabs. Yeah. Three mom bend it is. <sighs> At least it's not Heller's bend. No, no, it's not. Yeah, sorry about the sneezing, guys. <laughs> I couldn't hold it. <laughs> and that's the way she sneezes. Always oh. around five sneezes in a row. Mostly because of allergies. Well, that too. As we jog all of middle on us uh, We do have a level 10 quest. Um, mm -hmm. I think it might want megalo crabs. Oh no. So we might want to go ahead and pick it up. Yeah, out to dry. Ow. There's just. I'm Ow. feeling an itch in my ear that says. It's probably dealing with megalo crabs. I'm just looking at some of the fate names at the moment. Oh god, the fate names are hilarious. Like, go wesp. Yes, yeah, go wesp and, uh, hello, work! Yeah. Lazy pirates. <laughs> Ooh. We've got a blue mage down here, doing his blue thing. Oh, okay. He's probably trying to get the uh, final sting. Yeah. Wadolska. Out to dry. Ooh, a a a skylift operator, is looking... Someone to assist with her megalo crab woes. Called you it! You seem too well. Ah, for the love of Lamanza! Not again! Those le the leather's ripped to bloody shreds! Huh? No, you're not angry with me. Ah. Er, er, yeah. No, there's not a rye with my britches, you cheeky sod. It's the megalo There is something wrong with mine. Yes, you have no britches! <laughs> <laughs> it's the megalo crabs. They've been at the balloon envelopes I left out to dry on the rocks. These hills 
fawn snippers think they found a squid or something and started it to nipping. Wait, 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 you wait. You you left balloon envelopes out to dry in this weather? Yeah, I know. It's raining. <laughs> At least it's not gales or downpour. Yeah. Less the balloons in the air mean less cargo getting lifted. And and that don't sit too well with me. You're looking for a quick job? How about you crack a few shells before you head off on the way? If you could put down five of the buggers, that ought to do for now. By the way... Great, great. Mercenary contract. The balloons she's yes. talking about are like that cargo balloon right there. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see too much of those. Though you do get the impression that that's the major lift around Limza when it's not shipboard. Yeah. Hello, Ms. Well, certainly is certainly is, is an easier way to get things up that cliff we just went down. Yeah. Hello, Ms. Oh no, we got killer left. He sure did. Quick before he kills again. I don't have an interrupt. And he's level 13. That's why his health is going down so slow. Good grief! Okay, no final sting. Yeah, uh, what's your health, girl? Wow! <laughs> yeah. Now, guess who they were all picking on? Below the recommended level for this fate. Yeah, I bet. King Wesps. And I can't even throw a dagger at them to pull them apart. And the fail road. Good, we just got the Rank unlocked. That's the end of my hunt log. For Same here. This level at least. Yep. Uh oh. We got a King West. It didn't feel okay if we take them on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. You were saying about one at a time. I was trying to just get one. Good, we have someone else cleaning up behind us. Okay, that takes care of one. He's taking care of more. You better help. You might want to turn on Zog uh, if you can. Uh -huh. I'm fine. I hope. You get another person here. Yeah. That's the main reason why I'm going, I'm fine. There, these things will be going down fast enough between them. Level 11. Okay, time to finish off Megalo Crabs. I'm feeling a little crabby. Crab, it's what's for dinner. Crab legs. Why am I suddenly thinking of the crab dinner scene in Oran Hayahu's club? <laughs> well, Dolvka? Mm hmm. You take care of them snippers? Good bloody riddance. Nice work out there, lasses. It's 
still, it wouldn't be too long before a new crew of crabs comes sliding in to claim that territory. And our load's just getting heavier with all that rebuilding going on. If you don't want to be a burden under the mountain of crates, I'd best think of more lasting solution to the snipper problem. Yeah, good luck with that because, um, man, I don't have one currently. Yeah, I have no belt. I, I, I will take that belt, please and thank you. I have a belt, but no pants to fall. Um, oh, I don't know about you, but I can't wear the belt. Yeah, it's, it's a level 12, 12 belt. <laughs> oh, that and does somewhere remind along me. the line, I've got level 5 rogue. I need to check this. Hold on a moment. Okay, that's that. I got that's... level 5 daggers, and we're still on level 1 daggers. <laughs> well, I can use a hemp and sash. And... Ooh! Uh, I can repair my problem. Me. Ta -da! Wow! Talk about that. This is painful looking. Um. <laughs> oh, I think I need some help. <laughs> wow. This isn't great looking either, but it's an improvement. I mean, that purple and that orange just. <laughs> They're gonna make you wear Did you let it? Did you let a blind clown dress you in the dark? Yes, yes. Unfortunately, I did. I am a sad bug bug. <laughs> I am uh, gonna want to use the glamour chest real quick when I get into town, or at least buy some dye. Oh, we're running back to the town. Okay, that's okay. Getting this side path exists. Twelve, ten, that's a five. So eight. That's a fifteen. Fair. <laughs> Both leather jackets, but this might be a better color. Yes, that's a better color. I'll go with that one. Zaman. Uh. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's much nicer looking. My eyes are no longer bleeding. Um. <laughs> hey, being fashionable least... is very important. Hey, at least you can fix the problem with a little bit of dye unlike, say, back in WoW. Where oh, no. there was no help. <laughs> we have this friend who started playing this game recently, and sometimes I just cringe every time I see him. Oh no. He's a great guy, but he's like, it's all stats, he doesn't care what things look like. And you can imagine the horrors sometimes he's shown up in. <laughs> he doesn't care as long as the stats are good. <laughs> Actually, now that we're here... Slightly better bun bun attire. Slightly. Okay, uh, who do we want to deal with first? Uh, my trainer or yours? Uh, which is closer? Um, uh, yours? yours? Yours, because we don't have to go through a uh, barrier. Boot screen. Something like no, that. I don't. You will. Yeah, well. Because you always have to go to a, uh, through a load screen to get to it. Did I put the gloves on? Oh dear. I didn't put the gloves on. 
gloves on my plates. Oh well. I'll have to look at doing that later. to talk with Jackie. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> oh god, his accent. Yes, yes, I'm looking head inside, low ward. Hey, Jackie! Stabbed anything lately? Straight into the shadows. Jackie has another assignment for you. As always. Fine morning to you, Rena. And a fine morning for a spot of work, wouldn't you agree? This time round, it seems eager buccaneers scampered aboard a local merchant man and made off with a shipment of muskets. Now, seeing as it ain't awful, it ain't lawful to cloy from a little Nimson vessel to begin with, the Yellow Jackets fell upon them daft coves afore their boots were even dry. Aye, they caught the pirates right there on the deck, but the stolen boom sticks were nowhere to be found. Fenced by a longboat deal, I'm thinking. That's when our guild was officially contacted to retrieve the goods, which weren't really needful since the code would have had us on the job anyways. Ye don't bite the purse of your fellow Lumenzen and all that. So th this is your assignment, me nas naughty lass. Find out where them weapons went and bite back that shipment. Seeing as the cutters as hit <laughs> Jackie Seeing as the cutters as hit that merchant man are already rotten in iron, you needn't rush in with your stabbers a stabbing. I want this job handled quick and quiet, and I've the perfect partner to show you how it done. Ah, we get to work with stray. This here's Vakeb, the stray. Ain't no other rogue that can match her in the art of the Falcon. A pleasure. There's some problem, Vakeb. You seem a bit out of sorts. Oh god, that's right. Here it comes. Oh dear. Remember when we had to deliver that package uh, from the local merchant guild to here that included a bunch of tasty snacks, including finger sandwiches. Yes. And the Dorgard took a couple for himself. I'm blood and, bloody starving. I've had one of them finger sandwiches set aside. You know, those egg-filled tasties they make at the Bismarck. But when I got back from New York, it was bloody gone. Uh-oh. That was the cat's? I thought it was underfoot. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> well, you just head out there on the job, and I'll see if I can't turn up that missing sandwich by the time you return. All right, Jackie. And one more little detail you should know. Then muskets was meant for the Yellow Jackets armory. So once all is Bob, you can hand the goods to one of their coals directly. The drama of the finger sandwiches has begun. <laughs> Jackie? I'm looking for some wind of wisdom, are you? Okay, and he basically gives you the whole breakdown of what, he, what are you and all that. We can. We can start whenever you're ready, Rena. I've had a colleague keeping a waddle out for odd that might help us, so I suggest we have a few words with her first. You'll find her at the Hadle Line, pointing as a fishmonger. 
What was that again? The headline. It's upstairs. Ah. <clears throat> Had to double check. Looks is such a tangled rat's nest. Someone's looking dapper. Mm-hmm. By the way, um, we're going to be getting Valentine. Valentino's Day soon. Ah, yes. And lobster and shrimp. But I'll tell you, you've been looking for a special breed of fish. The long, skinny kind that'll bark, uh, well, bark, put the bloke in, on his arse. <clears throat> we don't sell that kind here, but you might want to try the foreign merchants. What are they called again? Ah, the Traders of the Edge. They sail from the South Sea Isles and they're known for dealing with all types of spitters and cutters. I should warn ye, these folks ain't one for questioning the source of their merchandise. In fact, they seem more than happy to pay for the goods what came from below decks, so to speak. But if you're still keen on getting your hands on those rare fish, and they'd best hurry, the edge merchants what's visiting Limza is looking for a to load up and leave the city for long. Just a um, means to transport the goods remaining is a mystery though. What with all that our blades got nothing is operation. Ah, I hate these accents. Why did they have to go with these accents? <laughs> what with all the our blades is got nursing this operation. It makes it hard for a girl to get close enough to eyeball the competition, it does. I'll be sure to keep an eye peeled on your behalf, but you might be as you can learn a little more from the folk around town. Great, I'm supposed to talk to everybody. Always! Okay, the cab. Traders of the Edge, eh? Well, if one of the merchants been staying in the city, they'll then someone will know something to point us in the right direction. The trick is to listen without being seen. You'd be surprised on how the coals crack down when they think no one else is about. We'll be focusing we'll focus on places what seem plenty of traffic. You can have the Bismarck, the Fairy Darks, and the East Hawker's Alley. I'll be trying my luck in a few other spots, then I'll meet in front of the guild where I'm done. Remember, keep hidden, keep quiet, and keep your waddles open. Off to the biz! I assume you're on follow? Oh, yes. Bismarck, Ferry Docks, and East Hawker's Alley. We. That's like <laughs> the entirety of Limza. Yeah, well. The cab, are you sure you're doing your job and just not sending the new girl off to do it for you? <laughs> that is doing his job. Her. Her, her job, yes. Stray is very much a her. E yes.
sneak in the back door. No, there was no back door. <laughs> she lied to me. No entry. Stabbing a dove appears to be distressed over some matter. Approach her while cloaked by your hide ability and tip the eavesdrop drop on her grumbling. I don't know if you can see her. She's a, uh, cooking. No. Cook. Or diving dove? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Diving dove is grumbling and discontent. Ugh! The, sh the smear on that customer's face. Does he think I can command the skillet to hook more swiftly just to meet his pressing departure schedule? I don't know how these things are done in the South Seas, but here in Limsa Lomenza, folk appreciate that fine cuisine cannot be rushed. Come now, Dove, you mustn't speak ill of the patrons. Now, what was the next thing on my list? Ah, another finger sandwich for the dutiful sisters. Someone there must be rather fond of eggs. <laughs> and I quietly sneak off with my high heels. Mm -hmm. oh. Trying to decide should I do the play docs first or second? No, no, we should go to East Hawker's Alley, then the fairy docs. Load screen of doom. Why? Why do you do this to me? <coughs> so, Rindus, when do we want to do that rebuild of my system? <sighs> Let me get through building patches first. <laughs> okay. Gruff is speaking in a low but lively tone to a nearby customer. Approach him while cloaked with hide and attempt to eavesdrop on his ex exhortations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. Gruff is hawking his wares to a customer. You have quite an eye for quality, sir. We have a splendid range of produce from every corner of Eorzea. But one simply cannot visit Limza Lomenza without sampling some of the local specialties. Would you care for some fresh squeezed La Nose and orange juice? Or perhaps the famed salt cod is more to your taste? Gruff continues to expound the virtues of his merchandise, but his impassioned urges appears to have little relevance on to your assignment. Gee, thanks for the red herring. <laughs> That's a level 15. We'll do that later. I know the banks call to you. The quest calls and I must follow. Mind me. I'm just back here blowing your cover. <laughs> it's what you do so well. Riri Riri Nasu is mumbling anxiously to himself. Curse my sense of duty. What would I have stayed at the wrench for an extra pint instead of rush returning early? I didn't ask to see anyone being bribed, and I certainly 
not myself, uh, and certainly not my relief pilot, I wonder what that merchant was about. Smuggling? Most likely. Should I report this to the Yellow Jackets? What yes. if I'm being watched? I could end up face down in the harbor. You're being that watched right now. A real concern, actually. I don't blame his uh, little potato butt. <laughs> Again. Welcome back, Rena. I hope your stalking went well. You might be an angel of death with those daggers, Dove, or any rogue that shuns the shadows is headed for an early grave. A sneaking mort can noise about without risking a scrap or slip herself behind the best position to ambush a mark. Once they've seen you, though, your rum is fun is done. Hiding is part concealment and part distraction, and you won't be disappearing on a cove what already knows you're there. All right, I'm done prattling. Would you manage to learn about our musket buying merchant friend? Slipping coin to a ferry pilot, was he? And. By what you heard from the chef at the Bismarck, this traitor means to hop the twig and soon. That matches with me own findings. He's vacated his room at the inn and paid his dues in full. Being a merchant, we can be sure that he won't be leaving without his merchandise. So here's the plan. We wait for him to sack the goods on the pier, then you ghost and grab them firearms. That, 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 that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get the job done quiet and under cover of Dark Paws, but it'll never hurt to be prepared for the worst. Sounds like he's got a small army of self swords on the payroll. <sighs> it's not you, it's Square. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yeah. There's the glow. I'll send word to the Yellow Jackets and have them post a coal near the Hawker's Alley. That way you won't have far to bolt once you've bitten the goods. The mark should be along any moment, Rena. Have you any skulking boots on? Yep, I've got my high-heeled skulking boots right here. These high heels were made for skulking. <laughs> yeah. You've got legs and you know how to sneak them? I've spotted the mark at the end of the pier. Sneak over there and lighten his load. And now you can actually sprint while skulking. You couldn't initially and this took forever. <laughs> okay then. I'm not quite sure how that works, but okay. And of course it's just so amazing. How you can sneak through a wide open pier with no shadows and broad daylight. <laughs> yeah, no. And nobody notices. Uh, I think he knows. You're good at this. You, you are not supposed to be there. I thought I ordered my hirelings to keep this jetty clear. Hmm? One, two, three, there There's one missing. My creative muskets! It's gone! <laughs> Thief! Stop her! You useless sluggards! What am I paying you for? Here we go! Time to get my stabbers a workout. You don't want me to, you know, like, pink them for you or something? I'm willing to help. Yeah. If I just sneak my way through. Because <laughs> I'm technically out of combat. 
Jacket. I think you want these muskets. Not I'm... even startled that you appeared out of thin air on him. Okay. Yeah. He's just like, okay, yeah. <laughs> There's a rogue. We had a deal. <laughs> kind of long years for uh, Stray, though. <laughs> <laughs> Gods, I remember Theron having to fight his way through all of that. <laughs> it's his way. And it just goes to show, you know, the fact that he had to fight his way instead of sneak way through. He's a fake ninja. He is not a fake ninja. He's a real ninja. <laughs> nin nin. <laughs> the entire guild agreed. You're a fake ninja. Though I have to admit, Nin's kind of taken a backseat to Dancer now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad, but not really. Dancer's fun. <laughs> Someday I'll get a chance to try it. Okay, back to the cab. They turned hairy, didn't it, Dove? Once you reach the Yellow Jacket, though, the merchant called off his blades. Wise enough to cut his losses, I'll give him that. I'd say we're done here. Let's all head inside and tell Jackie the Bane news. I heard the sound of fighting coming out from outside, and now I've whittled the cause of it. I thought you were aiming for subtle on this job. Oh, hi Jackie. We know of people who are less subtle uh, on that job, so there you go. <laughs> That many swads you was there. But you got the yellow jackets what they wanted. And that's all's well that ends well, eh? You're on your way to becoming a first class rogue, Rena. I the job didn't unfold exactly as planned, but you do see the value of keeping out of sight. Skulking might seem slow, but it can save you time and a fair amount of bleeding in the long run. Uh, speaking of unexpected developments, I have a um, bit of bad news for you, the cab. Oh dear. I searched high and low, but it seemed that some unprincipled cove have yaffed your sandwich. There's <laughs> not enough crumbs to be found. <laughs> no! My, my sandwich! It's, it's Mark's specialty! <laughs> Do you know how much I was looking forward to that meal? Me Billy's about to ready to cave in on itself! Tis tragedy, the highest order, love. And you know I can't bear to see me rogues in such distress. So, I gave Underfoot a special assignment. He should be back any moment now. With a freshly made Bismarck special finger sandwich! You did that for me? You're not japping with me, are you, Jackie? This ain't no Japan matter. Th Tis a guildmaster's responsibility to see all his coves and wants are the best for their job. Hi, Jackie. Here, there you are. I've got your sandwich you ordered. And didn't the chef give me a waddleful when I said that we was in a hurry? Maybe next time you can think twice before you yap a fellow rogue sup. Oh. oh, bollocks! Oh. 
Jackie. Did you eat my supper? <laughs> now, now, laugh. Let's not be hasty. There's a fresh new sandwich right here for you. No harm done, eh? You cloyed something that what didn't belong to me, Jackie. And you can't ignore the code. <laughs> uh, I, 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 yeah, I eat the code. We mustn't ignore the code. You're having a laugh for Yeah, laugh. Laugh. Ah! <laughs> Don't get uh, between a hungry Makuti and her supper. That might be the swiftest string up I've ever seen. A punishment fit for the crime. Take a good long look, Renna. The code exists to preserve peace in Linza and to keep the allies from running red with blood. This city's me home, and I'll draw daggers on any code full enough to threaten that peace. And your dinner. A uh, pointed lesson. Let's head inside, shall we? Here your sandwich is a little get cold. Yay! Do you mean to leave me here all night? At least give me a grander view of the harbor. God's piss, these ropes are tight. Sorry, Jackie, you get to be up there for the next five levels. <laughs> and now we find ourselves indebted to the Rogues Guild. The Rogues Guild! Humph. The impropriety of it all. What that I could see them occupying a cell next time those thieving pirates. <sighs> yeah, I think they finally Ooh. unstrung him. <laughs> Poor Jackie. But he didn't break the code! He got what he had coming! <laughs> Jackie? Ow! Oh, those ropes will leave shape marks for bleeding weak. I may have wrangled myself free, but that's the last time I let my belly do the thinking. And just think, you kept lies. strung me up over an egg sandwich. Those coves that well and truly stomp on the code get far worse. Keep up your thrashing, lass, and you'll soon be handling out rogue justice yourself. Yeah, I'm going to take the money because I've got all that equipment already. <laughs> Okay, I guess it's off to gladiator time. Yeah, though we're getting a little close on time. Mm, and if yeah. this quest is anything like yours, it's going to take more than five minutes. Well, let's at least head to the Bismarck. Or not the Bismarck, Certainly. the uh, Drowning Witch. Oh, uh, we don't have enough money for the Bismarck. No, we never have enough money for the Bismarck. That's a little more high class than we can afford, and no offense, I don't feel like dealing over at the missing member. Yeah, and I suppose the dress code at the Bismarck would front on what we're currently wearing. Yeah, you're kind of... I pick pants! <laughs> Words. You're doing better than you started the night with! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
not like I'm wearing much in the way of pants as is. <laughs> it, just the other pants did not go well with my boots, you know? And the boots are important. Yes, the boots are very important. Back where we started. Well, we're kind of ending a little early, about four minutes early. Uh, I guess mm -hmm. if uh, we wanted to do a question and answer, or just want to call it here, or... Oh, sure, if anyone has any questions, feel... Do keep in mind, tomorrow we've got Heaven on High Night. Ah, uh, uh, yes. We'll start at, what, level 50? <sighs> well... I don't know, what did we get up to last time? I think we got through 40 levels! So we actually might About be on 41. That. 41 to 50. That'll be interesting. <laughs> oh, I've been watching on one of my channels someone solo Heaven on High in Red Mage. Oh, yeah. And it's like, I am so impressed with him. He's like, I was one His recent one, he got to level 99 on Gunbreaker and died on that level. That's the last level you need. 100 is actually free and clear. Really? Yes. There's no level 100 boss? There is no level 100 boss. I am disappointed. <laughs> but he was like, on 99 and he died. He's like, no! <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's even more painful. Oh. He thought he was in the clear, but no. <laughs> Uh, I should look up the scoreboard to see if he's on them, but a lot of it will depend on whether he actually started at level 1 or level or level 30. So, anyway, I suppose we're going to call it a night here since we've only got a mm -hmm. couple minutes left. Thank you very much for coming with us. Um, again, we'll be on the air next week, starting at... 9.30 and going to 11 uh, Pacific time. Thank thankfully, um, the uh, big uh, birthday concert is on Friday, so that's not going to interrupt our schedule. Mm -hmm. And we'll be basically coming on the air as soon as Baron's getting off there for his art stream. Yep. Thank you so much for coming. You guys have a great evening. And if we don't see you tomorrow, we'll hopefully see you next week. Yes. You guys have a great night and a great week. Be safe. And no, e and no uh, electric burning themselves out in the walls. Yeah. Th th keep your electrical safe and keep your uh, finger sandwiches safer. <laughs> Good night, all. <laughs> <laughs>